How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer everything, all of your data from your old iPad to your new one. And the coolest thing about this process is that it's extremely easy and I'm going to show you step by step and of course it's native so you don't need to download anything, buy anything. It's so simple. And on top of that, you don't even need a backup. You don't need an iCloud backup, you don't need a computer backup, and you don't even need a computer at all because the process will be done wirelessly from one iPad to the other over the air it's amazing. Oh, and last but not least, if you're worried about compatibility, because maybe your old iPad, the iPad you have all your info is a little bit old, like mine, for example, don't worry at all, because this process is compatible all the way back to iPadOS 12. I'm going to put on the screen right now all the devices compatible, so don't worry about that. So let's get started and let me show you how to transfer everything, all your data, files, documents, apps, settings, absolutely everything from an old iPad to a new one. It's so cool. Let's begin. So first things first, you got to make sure that your new iPad is on the hello screen. That very first setup screen, that's the only way we'll be able to transfer all of the data. So if you bought a brand new iPad out of the box, great. It's going to be in the hello screen, but if you got a secondhand iPad or if somebody gave it to you, maybe your iPad will be like this, running fully functional as you can see right here. So then we'll need to take it to the hello screen. We'll need to reset it. So let's go and do it right now. All you have to do is go ahead here and tap on your settings. And then we're going to actually right here, go to general and transfer or reset iPad. Okay tap on that option and right here at the bottom, erase all content and settings, tap here. And then I have to tell you that if on this iPad, on the new one, you have any kind of important information, information that you want to save, if you have anything here that's important, make sure to go back, okay, tap on not now, come back and save this data. Okay, save to iCloud, to a thumb drive, whatever, just save any of the data that's here if you want that, of course, because we're going to erase it completely and of course we're going to replace with this iPad's information, okay? So if you have anything here, save it because we're going to erase it, delete everything from here, all right? So let's go ahead and continue. Now tap the passcode for this iPad, that's the lock screen passcode. And then uh, if you have a, an iCloud backup set up, it's going to update and it's going to upload information to that iCloud backup. If you don't need that, if you don't need that backup, you can go ahead and skip, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So if you have already saved your information or, or if you don't need it at all, just skip this backup, tap here on skip. And then it's going to ask if I'm sure that I want to erase all the data and content so I can go ahead and erase. If on your iPad it asks for Apple ID information, so your Apple ID password, uh, in order to remove activation lock and find my, you can go ahead and type in your Apple ID to make sure everything is erased and removed. Okay. On mine, it didn't ask, but it's the exact same thing. Okay. So go ahead and erase iPad. And then as you can see, it's going to start the erasing process. It's just going to take like a minute to two minutes. And then as you can see right here, it's just going to erase everything and reset it to factory settings. Let's wait until that's done. And so after a minute, two minutes, we are on the hello screen. So we're on that very first setup screen. We're good to go. We're good to begin the transferring process. So all you have to do here is swipe up. And then before we move on right here, it's very important to make sure that your old iPad, the iPad with all of your information is actually connected to Wi-Fi and also has Bluetooth turned on. Okay. It's going to be necessary for this pairing process. So make sure connected to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth turned on. Okay. Make sure it's like that. Right. And then we can go ahead and continue, select the language. So English, as you can see, and when we're on this page to select your country, we can already bring the old iPad close to the new one. That's right. Physically. So let's go ahead and bring it physically close. 
Uh, this generally takes a while, and as you can see, it's right there. So set up new iPad. Please keep in mind that in theory, you shouldn't really need to do this. It should just uh, pop up automatically when it gets to the screen, but sometimes you need to take it closer, bring it closer, so you have to be a little bit patient. If it doesn't show up on yours, you can restart your uh, your old iPad, just turn it off and turn it back on, but generally, by bringing it very, very close, almost touching them, as you can see, it's gonna show up, set up new iPad. So, let's go ahead here and continue, and right now, it's gonna start connecting, and then the problem Process, this pairing process is just like on the Apple Watch, right? So bring here with the camera, go ahead here, read that circle, and then as you can see, it's gonna say waiting here, it's gonna say finish, so they're connecting, and that's it, they have connected. And then what's gonna be asked on the new iPad is to enter the passcode of your other iPad. So the iPad with your information, this one right here, okay? So go ahead and type in this iPad lock screen passcode, and then it's gonna say setting up iPad. I'm sorry if the screen is a little bit dark, but on this very first setup screen, it gets very dim, very dark, and I can't really bring up the brightness, so sorry about that, okay? It's gonna say here, uh, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, generally it just takes a few seconds. And guys, I wanna make this very, very clear because this is super important. Throughout this whole process that we're doing right here, you gotta make sure that your old iPad and your new iPad, they are very close to each other, so leave them like mine, very close, almost touching, as you can see right here, Okay, and if the battery is nearly dead on either of the, of the iPads, go ahead and connect to the charger. No problem at all. You can charge one or both iPads while doing this process. Just make sure that the battery doesn't die throughout because otherwise you're going to need to start all over again. Okay, so make sure they're close they have battery or plug into the charger and of course place your iPad near good Wi-Fi reception, okay? Because this process is gonna be done with Wi-Fi, okay? So, that's it, let's continue right here. Uh, it's gonna ask for Face ID, I'm gonna set up later, but of course you can do it right now, no problem. And right here we have transfer your data, this is the important part of this video because you gotta pick this right. We have download from iCloud, that's not the option that we want because our information is not in iCloud, we wanna transfer from iPad. We're gonna do this transfer like that, from iPad to iPad. So second option right here, it's gonna say setting up your Apple ID, so wait for it to do its thing. Now it's gonna say terms and conditions, you can agree on the terms and conditions, and then it's gonna ask for your Apple ID. It's all synced up already, but it just needs to make sure it's you, right? So it's gonna ask for your password, just to confirm. And so tap here in sign in, at the top right hand corner. And then it may ask you, like it's asking me, uh, to enter your iPhone passcode, or maybe your Mac password. So this is just another layer of security, because Apple is just trying to make Make sure it's you right so it's asking for your password or passcode from other uh, devices of yours linked to your Apple ID okay so type in here in my case uh, my iPhone passcode and then it's gonna say here make this your new iPad so it already got all of the information it's showing here that it's gonna transfer apps and data settings your Apple wallet absolutely everything so Go ahead here and continue. And then it's gonna ask if you wanna update your iPad automatically. You can continue if you want to, let it do its thing. Now it's gonna ask for uh, your Apple Pay, so you, the cards on your wallet. I'm gonna add later, just so you can make some time right here. Let me skip all of them. And so we got here on the very important screen, where it's saying transferring data from iPad, and as you can see, it's transferring. That's the process. So as you can see, arrow pointing up, arrow pointing down. It's not actually sending to iCloud or anything, it's just like, uh, it's just an animation, right? An icon saying it's going up and down here, all right? So that's it, that's the screen. And on this point, all you have to do, guys, is wait. 
uh, just wait, just let them do the thing, and of course, follow the same thing I mentioned before. Leave them close to each other, make sure they have battery, otherwise plug them in, and of course, uh, don't disconnect from Wi-Fi or anything, just let them do the thing. Uh, this, of course, will vary a lot on the amount of data you have, how many gigabytes of files and data you have, and of course, your Wi-Fi speed. So it could take from 10 minutes, seven minutes, which is gonna take here, to hours. So it depends, but of course, all you have to do is wait. Let it sign in and verify. And so after around 10 minutes in my case, transfer complete. So then the new iPad is already restarting. You see the Apple logo and a progress bar. And of course, all you have to do is wait a bit more. And so our new iPad is ready. And as you can see right here, there's a different wallpaper. That's right. It's the same wallpaper from the old iPad because everything is already here but i want to show you something first uh on the old ipad if you tap here on continue you see this page right here saying erase this ipad and ipad os already thought of that because a lot of people will sell this old ipad right because they got a new ipad so the old one they're gonna sell or give away so if that's your case you can go ahead here continue and erase this ipad if you're gonna give it or sell it to somebody else if not if you're gonna to keep both no problem tap here or not now and then of course your old iPad is just like it was nothing changed and let's take a look at the new iPad now so type in the passcode which of course will already be this iPad passcode because it's been transferred to this one right so the passcode is the same as this one and as you can see it's all the same so same wallpaper same apps same widgets absolutely everything was transferred as you're probably used to by now uh, when we do any kind of transfer or recover process uh, it's gonna automatically download the remaining apps so as you can see some of the apps are being downloaded right now but it's all automatic and it's gonna be done and finished in just a couple minutes okay and of course everything is here so calendar my events it's gonna start downloading my notes as well so everything is here we're done, we're good, and that's how you transfer everything, all of our data from an old iPad to a new one, the easy way. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.